Alright, hi guys. Um, I just wanted to show you a little um, tutorial on how to fix something I found very annoying and um, kind of scary almost. Um, when your Google Chrome won't open, and, and I, I've searched for this online, I don't know if people have it, but in case you have it, um, I just want to show you a quick way to try to fix it. Not necessarily fix it, but work around it, but it, it'll be exactly like the same experience as you used to have. Now, if you look down at where I have my Chrome, and also it's blue. And the reason it's blue is it's not Chrome. It's Chromium. Now, Chromium is exactly like Chrome, as you can see. Um, it's a little bit different. It has newest features. It's like a beta build of the new features of Chrome. And sometimes I'll say Chromium and I'll say Pencil, this is Chrome. But um, it's almost, it, it, it is basically the same as Chrome. It's Chrome. Um, so, what you want to do to get that is go find. I don't even know where it is. Let's look it up. Um, how unprepared I am for this video, as you can tell. Um, so, yeah, it should be under here. Um, basically, just want to click here. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just copy this link um, in the description. But um, I want to do that. I want to click Download Chromium. And I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to stop that. But, um, it's um yeah here's the problem that happens with Chrome. Try to open it, nothing will happen. And this is like in the hidden folder because I don't really have other stuff anymore. But it, it, it's it's supposedly uninstalled, but it didn't as you can tell. Um and then it'll actually point to this old Chrome file which I, I think it, it it stopped working, something to do with an update. I think I killed the update and it stopped working or something. But um you can see, um, if you open it directly, sometimes it will come up with this. Applications fail to start because the side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. Please see the application log or use my land sx trace exe tool for more detail. And, um, I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> and I look it up and it'll tell me I need to download, like, a new C++ Visual Studio 2005, 2008, 2010, 2001, all these weird things. And um, I had all those, but I don't need to do that. But um, so it won't work. So you want, so you want to download that, and then um, excuse me, I'll try and find this here now. Um, somewhere here, somewhere. Yeah, it's a zip file. So it will get download a zip file. It's huge. Um, but it, it's safe, and it will it say actually like smart screen protected your thing, your might your antivirus might go off. But it is completely safe. It is completely safe. You can download it. You can search for it, and it'll give you the exact same thing. So it is safe. It is safe. I have no viruses on the computer. I already get it. It's completely safe. Don't worry. Um. So. Um. That's gonna be called Chrome Dash Win Thirty Two Dot Zip, or just Chrome Win Thirty Two. Same thing and you have your file name system thing set up and you may open a WinRAR if you have WinRAR and I do so I open the WinRAR but the point is you want to do that and somehow you're going to want to make a new folder I did it in my in my um under right just my C drive and I said chromium and I'm just going to um move over here for example I'm going to chromium Two. And, two. and um, I just want to take all these files, all these crazy looking files, and uh, I'll take them all. You want to extract them all into your Chromium 2 folder or Chromium, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter at all. Um, I just like for Chromium because it's self explanatory. Now you can close out of your uh, extract. Um, the files that are compressed. Now what you want to do is I like to go to here and sort it by type. So up here you'll see a little thing here called Chrome. And to make sure this works, you want to double click that. Like I said, it, I don't know if it'll show up on the recording or not, but it says Windows protected your PC. You want to click on more info and click run anyway. Because it is completely safe. And you will have like a brand new Chrome here, but since I already run it, it's since I already run it. So I already ran it. I did a lot of things. It's it's in my default Chromium. But it will work completely fine, and that's all you need to do. Now, obviously, you don't want to go to your C drive and Chromium every time you want to launch, every time you want to launch Chromium. 
Um, so what you want to do is you want to right click it, send to desktop, create shortcut. Or you can do is like me, I can just drag it down to my um, taskbar thingy down here. So um, I don't want that on my desktop, so I'm going to delete that shortcut. But it will work unless you have something, that's the way different problem than I did. So it will work, and until I find a permanent fix for this, um, um, this really should work. If you have any bugs, then I'm sorry, but because it is like you know really supposedly buggy, but it it should really work out. It should work. Um, just don't worry about anything else. This stuff just just open Chrome. Don't worry about locales. Don't look, look. Don't worry about these manifest files. Just just Chrome, okay? Just Chrome. Don't don't do anything else. Just just do Chrome. And if you do that, it should work. And congratulations, you just found a workaround almost fix for Google Chrome. And um, I hope this works for you guys. It really should. So um, do a thumbs up or whatever. So whatever they say. So yeah. See ya. And um, I know this is very unlikely to post videos like this. I may do more videos like this in the future. I'm not 100% sure. But um, I just thought I would do this because I know this means a I, Chrome meant a lot to me. And I just don't want to lose it. After six hours of, you know, Searching and searching and searching. I'm like, okay, why don't I just try this? And it worked. So I'm happy about that. So, anyway, see you guys. Hope this works. Bye.